breaking run, Melvin Gordon, 408. There's nobody on the field that is as fast as him, that wants it more than him. The Notre Dame game 19 years ago was a big springboard for our football program. Jack Mitchell will try to win it for the Wildcats. Mike was a big Michigan fan. He and I flew out for Ohio State versus Michigan. Ohio State wins are going to the national championship. So fans rushed the field. They were trying to rip down the goalposts. I said, Mike, let's go down on the field. So Mike and I ran down on the field. You know, we just started throwing his little ball around. You know, he said to me, he said, this won't be the last ball I catch on this field. Wild formation here from Illinois, and it works. Mike Dubek off to the races. There's nobody on the field that is as fast as him. There's nobody on the field that wants it more than him. A catch is made. Mikey Dudek, the true freshman. And you combine those two, it's pretty lethal. Looking. End zone. It's up. It's caught. It's a touchdown. Mike Dudek. He's an 18 year old true freshman. He said he's 5'11. Well, I say he's a tall 5'9. But it goes back to that age old thing that you can't measure his heart. Dudek is in. He was in motion, and the freshman makes the catch. Dudek, 25, 20, 15. Now we'll cut across the grain, the 10, and down to the 5. A lot of people said, you know, you're too small to play Division I football. But, you know, you're too slow. You're not quick enough. I like being the size I am. You know, it definitely puts a chip on my shoulder. I tell him sometimes he's too short. He keeps on looking at me. You know, and after he makes a big play, he said, am I still too short? It's going to be a game today. <laughs> Mikey met JR, and they started training the seventh grade. He was a little dude, really small bones, really skinny. I was going there, you know, four to five days a week, just training with them, lifting weights. Box jumps, help my vertical. We had Brandon Marshall in our center. He ran 22 miles an hour on our treadmill. Mikey's been doing that since he was 16. And you knew that although Mikey might not look the part, he has the potential to be something. special. Tidy. And it was a lot of, I think he's great, but I don't think he can make that jump to big time football. North Dakota was one of his only offers. Be great today. Thanks. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Be great. Appreciate you telling me that every day. I went to a few camps, came to Illinois, um, and, and ran good times. And that's really when they started to notice me. When it came time to evaluate him as a player, I think it was very easy. He was either going to catch 300 passes against us or catch 300 passes for us. I got a text, all caps, all caps, Illinois just offered. Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. His first pass that was thrown to him, it was a corner route. We're yelling in the headphones, Mikey's open, it's going to be a touchdown. That was the lowest point I've ever felt in my life, you know, just standing on the sidelines like, wow. Like, did that really just happen, you know, in front of all these people? That same drive they called the play that's supposed to come to me. Illinois down 9-7. to seven. West Lund looks in a wide open to deck the freshman. There's going to be times in the games where things aren't going to go your way. To this day, think about that. Catching a touchdown on the same drive um, really ease the pain of that one. Mikey, he's always compared to Wes Welker. I'm probably biased, but I think Mikey's better than Wes. Mikey's a deep threat, too. He has a 42-inch vertical. I don't care if you face him against a 6'5 DB, he's jumping up over you to catch that ball. I feel like that's awesome when someone compares you to, I mean, to an all-pro receiver. But my goals are to be better than him, to be a better Mikey Dudek.